Guys, your home has taps, my home has taps, but did you know there are lots of places in this world where people don't have clean drinking water? What I mean to say is that there are no facilities through which they can get clean drinking water. So what they do is they go to natural sources of water like rivers and lakes and uh, collect water like this and they drink them just like that. We can clearly see how many impurities there are in this. And if somebody drinks this water, we all know what is going to happen. They'll fall sick. <laughs> So guys, in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to make such a project with the help of which we can filter not only this much, but the entire water in this lake into clean drinking water. And the cost of this system would be so, so cheap that anybody can make it easily and install it wherever they want to. Even if the place you are living doesn't have any electricity, what you can do is you can make the system easily and you can go to a pond, a lake or any other water source you have nearby and install it there. Pass the water through it and you will have the utmost pure water. And what would be the cost of this project? Only 2000 rupees. Now think about it guys, only in 2000 rupees we're gonna make such a filtration system that can clean the whole lake, all the water in this lake. And finally what we're gonna get is the purest of the pure, not this one, pure drinking water. So shall we start the project? Yes. yes. Alright guys, you like the video and we are gonna start this project. So guys, for this project, we're gonna need four drums made of plastic. Oh. One drum cost us only 200 rupees because we picked it up from a scrap dealer. But if you buy it in the market, it will cost you 900 rupees. But we managed to get it at around 200 rupees. So the cost of the drums comes to 800 rupees. Now guys, clean this up fast, fast. Yeah! 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 So guys, now what we need is this kind of sand and we call it by the name Badri and we have to sieve this first and separate the smaller particles from the bigger particles and this stuff is completely free. Yeah, we got it completely free. Okay, with that now we need coal and as you know, we made this coal at home. If you guys remember, there was a video in which we made gas from wood and rode a motorcycle with that. What? You haven't watched it? Oh man, it was an awesome video. Below in the description, I'm going to put the link. Watch the video after watching this video. But this time we used a larger process so that we can get bigger coal pieces, bigger pieces like this. And if you want us to make a video on this process, then comment below and I'll let you know guys how to make coal at home. Now what we're going to do is we're going to break this into small, small pieces so that we can use it in the filtration system. Come on, come on, bring it. Let's go guys. Actually, we have to wash it now, but if nature is on our side today, it's gonna start raining and all this coal you see here will be washed naturally. And yeah! Yeah! Hey! It's yeah, raining! Hey. Hey. What a great timing! This is called a great timing! Come on, come on! Now what we're gonna need is this kind of rocks. Oh, oh I just needed one. I know oh. this kind of normal stones, and we can get this easily and for free. And with the big rocks, we'll need small rocks like this. This is also required in the filtration system. Small and medium size, like this. Look, look, look. Let's wash them properly so that they are clean. So, guys, basically, this would be our filtration system. Come on. So this first tank, this is where we're going to put the dirty water and then this water will go to this one. It will be filtered and it will go to this one where it will be filtered again. And in the last tank, we are going to get perfectly clean water. But guys, the thing is that we got to put some holes in this and these holes has to be perfectly and neatly done. Because if we fill that drum with water, it has to come to this one, then this one and finally to this one. Even if we are putting all of them in one level, then also water has to be transferred from one another. All of them will be in one level, although we'll be using gravity to force the water in. But if we are not using gravity, then we will have to make the holes on the exact levels on these drums and then connect them together with pipes. So guys, we are drunk. Hey, put everything in the truck. So guys, whatever is 
the essential for this project. We have collected everything together, and now we're going to take everything to the lake. And right there, in this heavy rain, we're going to fit the filtration system. And let's see how successful we are. Let's go. Let's go. Put the call in. Put the call in fast. Let's go. Guys, let me tell you, we are going to use gravity here. If we want, we can use a motor, but that will increase the costing. We have to keep the budget as low as possible. So, come on, guys. As you can see, the lake is over here, and we are going to set this up such a way that gravity is utilized completely. Because the higher the gravitational force on the water, it will be filtered faster. If we keep everything at the same level, the filtration would be zero. And hence, to utilize gravity, we're going to keep one there. one here and one down there and over there guys is the lake so let's start so guys this is the first tank and it will go on the top over there come on come 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 guys the gravity over here would be so high that this tank would have adequate pressure let's install this here this is the first tank that we're going to put water in dirty water from the lake <laughs> This is our final tank in which after the three stages are over the clean water will be collected. Now let's start from stage first. Every tank will have different things with different layers. So let's start from here and this is where the bigger dirt or pollutants are going to get filtered. So the first step would be using these rocks which we have collected. We had washed it. So let's make the first layer using these stones. The stones are over there washed and clean. Let's put this in. Here goes. Guys the second layer would be of little bit smaller stones these ones these stones over here these ones we have washed and cleaned them so let's start putting the second layer put them Guys the next layer would be more smaller stones these one over here small concrete pieces washed so we're going to put these now Stage one has been finalized. Now let's get ready for stage two. I'll tell you how that works. Come on. Even this one would have big stones as first layer. Let's start. Second one again, little bit smaller stones. But in this, the layers would be thinner, smaller, smaller layers, not as big as that one. Start putting the stones. And now again, we're going to put these small concrete pieces. And now guys we're going to put a mosquito net over it so that uh the next layer would sit properly. And now we're going to put the sand or bajri in it, natural and clean sand. Come on. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Guys, what you see here is the best natural filter ever. <laughs> So guys this filter is also ready now I'll tell you how it is going to work guys the first filter over there will filter the big pollutants that's there and in the next one the system is completely reversed and the water will go in from the downside and come up filtered and the water that comes up will come down here and from here it will be filtered down as you can see the first layer is sand it will filter the water and the next layer of concrete we have put so that the sand doesn't pass through meaning the sand will filter the water and the stones will prevent the sand from moving forward it's quite simple i hope you get it and in this one also we're going to put the bigger rocks then the smaller rocks and the smaller rocks and some amount of sand we are doing all this because we don't want the smaller particles to pass through the rocks won't allow this to happen let's put the big rocks first Guys we have put the bigger rocks here and as you can see the pipe over there is open so that the water can flow but if we put sand here it will get clogged and that's why we put the bigger stones here let's put more And 
गाइज नाउ वी गोट पुट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड दैट इज द कोल मीनिंग एक्टिवेटेड चाकोल दे कॉल इट एक्टिवेटेड चाकोल बट इज एक्चुअली कोल सो वॉट कोल डस इज दैट वट एवर केमिकल्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन द वॉटर इट विल फिल्टर दैट आउट by absorbing the chemicals it will filter them out and then the water that comes out will be drinking water so in the first stage we filtered out the bigger pollutants and in the second stage we removed bacteria and in the third stage we are removing chemicals but the miraculous thing is that whatever minerals the body require they are still in here in a good amount more than normal more minerals than that you can find in the drinking water bottles will be here all of them because we have sand in here and finally we will have pure drinking water so let's put coal we have two varieties one small and one big so let's put both. Go ahead guys Oh that's enough that's enough that's enough Guys we have made the layer of coal now let's put this net over here so the coal doesn't come back in here it might reverse and uh, get in the pipe and clog it and uh, if you want you can put a net over here on the pipe so that nothing goes in Guys, finally all the three stages are over now. Everything looks a little dirty, but don't worry. The clean water will come from here. But yes, up above you will see charcoal water. Filtration will start from here, and the sand will also filter the water. And then the stones will naturally filter the water. And finally, it will go into this tank. And that would be pure water. So let's start the trial. Yeah, one more thing I want to say, important thing. Before you start using this water, you should let it run two to three times. Let the water run. What I mean is that when the clean tank is filled, the first two times you should not drink the water. You have to throw the water, and the third time when the water comes, you can drink it. Ah, one more thing. Using this filtration system, you can remove ninety-five percent of impurities. But keep one thing in mind: you can't filter all kinds of water with this filtration system, like. The one comes from factories with bio waste, chemical waste. Big factories throw all the stuff out, and for that reason, some dangerous chemicals get mixed in the water, and it's quite difficult to filter that out. But yeah, naturally, the water that comes from rain, lakes, or some rivers, that water is fine. You can use the filter and clean that water. The next day, guys. Today is the second day. Our setup is completely ready. Now we're going to put in the dirty water. Come on, let's get the water. So, guys, I'm going to show you a little sample of this water. Guys, I'm pretty sure none of us would ever want to drink this water. Now let's filter this using our filtration system and see how this water will be transformed or how it will look after we filter it. Come on, come on. Let's go let's go let's go It's full. Yeah, it's full. Guys, now you can see the color of the water. It's something like this. It's got a lot of impurities. Okay, put this also. And now we will start filtration stage 1. Come on. One person stay here to turn on the valve because the valve is closed here. Somebody will have to open it later. So guys, this is our first filtration system. So let's turn on the valve from there. 1 2 3. We'll have to wait for a little. Oh! Guys, now as you can see Gravity has done its job. As soon as we opened the pipe up there, the water started coming here. Guys, as you can see, it's already being filtered, and the level is coming up. The valve is closed. The level is continuously coming up, coming up, coming up. That means the water is coming from down here and getting filtered and coming up. Look at this, guys. There are little impurities because the stones were not washed properly. So I'll recommend that whenever you are using something like this, let the water run two to three times till it's clean. Don't use the water till then. Throw it away. And after that, when clean water starts coming, you can start using it. And as you can see, the water level is rising up and up. Close the valve. Close the valve. Guys, now let's do a comparison with the first stage filtration. And guys, this is the water from the lake. Bro, hold this. And now let's fill this water and see. 
तो गाइस नाउ यू कैन सी शुगर केन नो नो लेट मी मेक द वीडियो ब्रो ब्रो इज सेइंग दैट दिस इज शुगर केन जूस सो एज यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट स्टेज फिल्ट्रेशन इज डन एंड हाउ द वाटर हैज बीन क्लीन वी हैव टू मोर स्टेप्स लेफ्ट सो आई विल टेल यू इन द फर्स्ट स्टेज व्हाट हैपेंड इज दैट द बिगर पोल्यूटेंट्स वर रिमूव्ड लाइक मे बी इट्स अ बिग पीस ऑफ गार्बेज और एनी अदर बिग स्टफ लाइक दैट द स्टोन्स क्लियर्ड ऑल ऑफ देम नाउ लेट्स गो फॉरवर्ड लेट मी ओपन दिस वाल्व हियर एंड ओपन दैट वन एज़ वेल एंड नाउ वी आर एट स्टेज 2 And now, guys, here it's going to get filtered from above to below. And as you can see, because of gravity, how great the pressure over here is. It seems like it's coming from a motor. Keep that close now. Keep it close till it's full. Look at the strength of the stream. It's because of gravity. And guys, look at that. How elevated it is. So, guys, what's going to happen in this one is it's going to clear all the bacteria with the help of the sand layer, which is going to separate all the bacteria from the water and make it clean. Okay. Let's move forward. This is full now. Let's go to the next one. Guys, so let's open the wall from here. 1 2 3. Guys, as you can see, the water has started coming here. Very small amounts of water. Bro, give me the glass. So, this is the water from the lake and this is from the first filtration. I'll throw this away. We don't need it. Now, let's fill this. This is going to fill up very slowly, guys. The water is coming very slowly. This filtration is going to take time. Let's keep it here for the time being. So guys as you can see we have collected this much water and now let's compare it with the original water from the lake I'll tell you guys we can drink this water I'm pretty sure of it because it won't have any bacteria but it'll still have chemicals in it because chemicals are highly highly soluble in water so to remove chemicals we have with us this filtration over here which has charcoal in it activated charcoal which is actually coal so what this charcoal is going to do is it's going to absorb all the chemicals and then again the water will get filtered and it will go all the way to our last tank and get collected over there hello hello bro it's going to take time especially because uh, the water that's going to get filtered through the sand that takes a lot of time first time the tanks has to get filled one by one so anyway it's going to take some time wait for it guys you will get the results very soon wait for it guys ask them to like the video ask them guys like guys, the video go and like the video like the video, like the video guys. guys and what about the channel subscribe, subscribe guys, guys. Guys it's been more than 1 hour and as you can see water is coming from there to here and this is the last filtration system and this is also working now come here i'll show you Guys you can now see clearly that finally the last water i mean the clear pure water that we needed is finally here this water let's throw this water and let's fill it up with the clear water and compare it So guys now you can clearly see the difference this is the water that we got from the lake and this is the water that we got filtered It tastes like water obviously it tastes like water and definitely I won't be able to drink this but I'm being able to drink this and if we still get particles of sand what we'll do is we'll just leave it like this to settle down for some time meaning when the tank is full we'll just leave it like this for a day whatever particles are randomly there according to me there won't be any but if there is any it will settle down to the bottom and then we can definitely use this for drinking and the speed that you see here this speed we'll get continuously only because we use gravity sensibly and the whole pressure is coming from up there pushing the clear water down here and one thing is clear that we did not use any electrical system for this so let me define the process once again here is the charcoal filter which clears the chemicals and then up ahead the sand filter which clears the bacteria and as you have seen before this water is filtered from above moving downwards it's coming from up here it's getting filtered and then moving out from here and now up above this is our stone filter and this clears out the bigger pollutants and this filtration works from below moving up the dirty water comes from here and it moves up and then the water comes here and now i'll show you what the water looks like in that tank guys now look what the water looks like in the tank <laughs> and guys if you don't still understand how this filtration system works i'll put a pdf in the description below and if somebody wants to make it they can take help from that the great thing about this water is that none of the minerals in the water is lost in the process all the minerals are there 
in fact with more mineral additions so this is mineral rich now now let's talk about how long this system will work every 3 months or maybe even every 1 month uh, you can change the system i mean you can change the materials and all you can let it run for even 3 months easily it's any day better than that water over there so changing the system is also very simple in the first month you can change the material in the first tank you can change all the stones and put new ones in and the second tank you can decide to change it in the second month meaning you have to remove all the material out and put new ones in and as far as the last tank the third one goes you can change it in the third month and uh, put new material and the fourth tank is clean water so every 3 months you have to replace the whole thing and this system can work for years on end in fact you can filter the whole lake easily using this system all you have to do is change the stone and other material and stuff and guys i hope you like this video and if you liked it give it a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video with a new topic and till then jai hind jai bharat bye bye